So there's a lot of work going on, as you can see behind us, with Michigan MI-75 interchange work. We basically have to build four ramps that are leading to the POE from MI-75, so those are some new structures that are being built. As well with that, there's the widening of I-75 over a two-mile span from Springwells to Clark Street. And there's some major improvements to some of the surrounding local roads. Of note, there's Fort Street, there's Jefferson, there's Green Street, there's Livernoy, Springwells, Clark. A few years back when this project started, uh, one of the first things that happened on the MI-75 interchange work was a demolition of the existing road bridges. For those demolitions, the freeways were closed and they were done within a weekend. And from that point on, then we started building the new road bridges, which basically is the same process as you would see for a ramp. Basically, you start with the foundations, we cast the concrete for the abutments, and then build the, the road deck, cast it in place, and put all the finishes on with fencing and walkways and drivable surfaces. As part of this project, there's four new road bridges that are being built, as well five new pedestrian bridges. So the four new bridges are at Clark, at Livernoy, Green Street, and at Springwells. So the pedestrian bridges that are being built uh, newly on this job are at Beard, Sove, Waterman, Lansing, and Junction Street. All the pedestrian bridges are brand new. As for the road bridges, as part of the MI-75 work, uh, there was some, some demolition that happens to some pre-existing road bridges. And so the, the new road bridges that are put in place are, are brand new, right? They're, they're being upgraded basically from what was there before. For the most part, uh, road and pedestrian bridges are made up of concrete and steel. The main differences there is some concrete is actually pre-cast off-site and brought to site, whereas the remainder is actually cast in place in formwork systems. The road bridges connect to Fort Street, which will have brand new bike paths on either side of the street, which in turn will connect to Campbell and to Jefferson, which from Jefferson you'll be able to get onto the actual bridge uh, with your bicycle and cross over to Canada. The biggest local road improvements are to Fort Street and uh, Jefferson, I would say Campbell and Green. You're seeing upgrades with new bicycle paths or combined use trails being put in place. Some of these roads are being widened, they're all being repaved, uh, new construction of sidewalks, curb and gutter. So there'll be all sorts of brand new landscaping and a new look around this area with, you know, shrubs, trees, slope paving, noise walls being built. There's also work with respect to the underground infrastructure, so your water main, your sewer systems. The siphon work is a realignment of existing sewers that go underneath I-75 in order to keep them away from the existing new ramps and bridges that are being built. And so these are large diameter combined sewers that are six foot to 12 foot tall in diameter, so some pretty large structures that basically have to dive underneath the highway and connect back up on the other side to be realigned. And so when we do this, there's some very complex combined bend elbows that need to be put in place as well as at each connection point to the existing combined sewers, we need to pour in place a, a custom, a brand new manhole to be able to access. The siphons run along, um, basically, if you start with Dragoon Street, Military Street, uh, Calvary Street, Campbell Street, Junction Street, Morrell Street, and Ferdinand Street. So on the MI-75 part of the work, there's many different unions that are involved. We have a total of six different unions that are involved in the construction. Roughly each union crew will be around 10 workers, including their foremen. The iron workers, the local 25, they're the ones who set the steel girders and install the deck pans and are tying all the rebar. The local 324 operators union and the local laborers 1191, they did all our earthworks and roadworks. The local 687 Carpenters Union worked to form all the concrete and set all the concrete girders. The local 514 Concrete Workers Union placed and finished all the concrete. 
And as well, we've got the crews that are installing all the new lighting, the signals, and the ITS systems, which are the intelligent transportation systems. Those are our electricians, the IBW Local 17. For me in my career, um, this, is, this is the first bridge project or major bridge project I've been a part of. It's definitely the first international bridge project, that's for sure. I'm a Canadian originally, so for me it means a lot to be part of a project that connects two countries like this. To be able to beautify this area, Detroit, that really needed a facelift is, is something that's very rewarding.